A horrifying situation for a woman out of Pulaski tonight. A man is accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting the woman at gunpoint. But the victim was able to convince the suspect to stop at a restaurant, one her family happened to own. That's when her father quickly stepped in. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen tells us how the woman's family was able to get the suspect arrested. Jaquan Berry has only been out of prison for a couple months. At the Walgreens in Pulaski, Tennessee, Mr. Berry attempted to abduct a woman there, uh, attempted to carjack her, take her and her vehicle. Uh, and fortunately, she escaped. She got away, but District Attorney Brent Cooper says Barry tried again. He walked to a nearby apartment complex and kidnapped a woman at gunpoint. According to what we're learning, uh, he drove her around for an extended period of time uh, in uh, various locations. It appears that he was uh, uh, crossed at least one or two county lines while she was in the car. At some point during the ordeal, uh, he allegedly uh, raped this lady, uh, and then uh, later they ended up in, uh, in Murray County. The victim was able to convince Barry to go get food in Columbia, knowing her relatives would be working at a local restaurant. That's when her dad came out and took matters into his own hands. Cooper says Barry pulled a gun, but her dad fought him off and got the gun, then held him until police arrived. The suspect is being held here at the Murray County Jail, and I'm told he's facing a slew of charges. Those will include especially aggravated kidnapping and aggravated rape. Literally in between mine and my sister's building in our same parking lot. I mean, that's just that's scary. That's that's horrific. Rashada Holt says she saw him lurking around their apartment complex in Pulaski. It's upsetting because it's close to home. Prosecutors credit the victims with figuring out a way to escape. They say it could have ended differently. These were random acts by Mr. Berry. Uh, it looks like for all intents and purposes that he was out trolling or looking for uh, someone to kidnap and rape. Reporting in Columbia, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. In 2010, Barry went to prison for aggravated robbery and aggravated assault following a crime spree in Rutherford and Davidson counties. And when he made parole, he was arrested again for aggravated robbery.